Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Gradient Map in Procreate. So there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you how I like to use it. You can use it for totally different purposes, but as a lettering artist, I have two really fun ways that I have been using it for. Okay, so first things first, I'm using my watercolor brush. This specific brush is my marina watercolor brush and i have lettered the word oceans okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a gradient manually and this is probably confusing because you're like well aren't you using gradient map yes i am but i wanted to show you a unique way of using it okay so what we're gonna do is hide this and we're gonna make our own gradient. So I made my own gradient with my own colors using the soft airbrush and the medium airbrush. And so you can go ahead and um, make your own gradient if you want right now, just like this. And then what we are going to do is we are going to make a clipping mask. And so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna click on my layer, click on clipping mask. And then I'm gonna unhide my oceans lettering. And now you can see that it has made this beautiful gradient across my watercolor lettering brush. And it looks so fun and so beautiful. Okay, now let's say we don't want this color scheme. This is where gradient map comes in. So type on, tap on your adjustments, tap gradient map, tap layer, so now we can see if we tap on different gradient maps, we can change the color of this to wherever we want. So like we can change this, whoops. We can change this, make this one go over here a little bit more. So if you start out with your own gradient, you can just hop in to gradient map and take the gradient that you made and just change the color of it to whatever you want, which is really cool. So I could change the whole thing to this color scheme. Okay, so that's a really fun way to use gradient map. Okay, now let me show you another way to use gradient map. Okay, so I'm gonna hide these and I'm gonna go to this right here. So I created this lettering piece in a very monochromatic scheme on purpose. So if you create a lettering piece and it is very one tone and it's just a lot of the same colors, um, a lot of blues, just different shades of them, you can definitely use gradient map. So we're gonna go to adjustments again, gradient map, layer. Oops, let me make sure I'm on the layer first. Adjustments, gradient map, layer. And now we can choose right here to change these colors to a totally different scheme if we want to. And by tapping on these schemes, we can adjust them. We can add another little swatch in the gradient map just by tapping and delete it just by tapping. And so this is really fun just to change up your colors. Just if you're not really set on kind of what you want, you can just use gradient map to feel it out and see kind of the vibe you want. So that's really fun. So let's cancel this and go back. Okay, now there's a third way to do this. So you can do an entire lettering piece in grayscale. So you can use blacks, dark grays, light grays just like this and leave it like that and then go to let me make sure i'm on the layer yep and then go to adjustments gradient map layer and it'll totally just give you new colors different colors because you did the whole thing in a grayscale gradient now what you can also do is tap the plus button and do an entirely new gradient map. So you can pick totally new colors. 
You can add more just like that. Like if we want to completely do a new um, gradient, we could do like a Christmas one that ends with like green, but like starts off with like red, like this. Totally different and just make that new palette just like that. And then if you hold it down, you can delete it. And then if you tap the actual name, you can name it Gradient Christmas, something like that, and then make it like that. And then I'll just delete it now. Um, so you have a ton of different options. So in order to make Gradient Map work for you, you just have to keep in mind that you need to make sure that you've either drawn a lettering piece in complete grayscale with blacks, dark grays, light grays, and a scheme like that in order for the gradient to be picked up. Or you can use a watercolor brush that already has variation in gradient and um, make a gradient from there with it. Or you can just simply do a monochromatic scheme with a bunch of different blues and the gradient map will pick that up. Now what the gradient map won't pick up is if you do an entire lettering piece in one shade of purple. It's not gonna do anything, nothing's gonna happen when you go to do your gradient map because it doesn't have enough colors to pick it up and change it into a gradient map. So just keep that in mind when you're working. Um, but like I said, you have a lot of different options, a lot of cool things you can do with it. And it's really up to you. There's a lot of flexibility. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching.